walks or cycles around Hereford now is constantly aware of the degree to which traffic lights are, red lights are simply ignored. It's not brought us safe, attractive, quiet streets and free-flowing traffic. It's brought a hostile, dangerous, miserable and degraded city landscape in which pedestrians and cyclists have been pretty much designed off the road. Anyone who's tried to negotiate this junction on a bike will understand why you think twice as a cyclist in Hereford before uh, venturing out. You'd have to be suicidal to negotiate this roundabout on a bike, uh, which probably accounts for the fact that we can't see any cyclists. Junctions like these are typical of uh, engineering solutions up and down the land and clearly thought up by people who give no consideration at all to cyclists and don't regard as cycling as a feasible mode of transport. It seems to be really important that one of the things we do is to encourage whatever changes are made to stress that street aspect which naturally calms down traffic and naturally adds to the beauty of the city and naturally gives all of the famous air conditioning effects and the dust removal effects that we know trees have. And if we can pull that kind of um, treatment together of, of the street, if we can make it into that kind of space, then I think it could be really actually a positive outcome from what's been quite a difficult and um, emotion-filled moment for many people in the city.